Hey guys, welcome to my channel and this video will be about my review on this Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 and why I love this so much. I've had a lot of, um, I've had my fair share on my quest and my journey into finding the best sunscreen and sunblock to protect my skin from the UV rays out there and um, I'm gonna show you some products that I've used over the past years what I love and what I like and the not so just because I needed to wear the sunscreen so um, I'm showing this to you and um, this is one of my favorites I use this when it's really really sunny or I'm gonna be staying out in the sun for more than let's say four hours or five hours this La Roche Posay um, SPF 50 anti shine anti Anthelios XL and um, this one I just picked up from a I don't know Walmart CVS or anything or whatever pharmacy out there this Neutrogena oil-free sunscreen with broad spectrum SPF 35 and um, I also used to use the Clinique line with SPF 21 for men but I didn't like it that much because it feels like it doesn't give me a lot of protection but if I'm so desperate I use this um, Nivea SPF 30 as well, you know what I mean? The only thing I didn't like about these products is this one, this two product leaves a white cast on your skin so whenever you're going to be putting something, a foundation on or whatever, it doesn't uh, give you the complexion that you want because of the mixture of the base and the color and the pigments that reacts to each other. While this, it, it tends to become, um, it's okay, it's natural whenever you layer on something but it just feels like it doesn't last long because it's a moisturizer and at the same time it, it feels like it just droops down into your skin. But when it comes to this, this is so thick, whenever you spray this on your face, you feel like you inhale everything so that's what I didn't like about it. And I am so obsessed about skincare and also protecting my skin from the sun and the UV rays because we all know that the number one cause of aging is the sun. So what a better way thing to do is wear sunblock every day. The problem is with those type of sunblock which are um, European and American standard grade of sun protection because of their standards that has to be met and required or I don't know how they do it, I'm not an expert but the formulation of these products really does give you a white cast and it's so heavy on the skin which you know sometimes like even if I'm not wearing anything or I'm not wearing any foundation or whatever it still feels like you have something on your skin that literally uh, it kind of like bothers you throughout the day I have nothing against these I, to be honest, I also personally use them myself from time to time. I just switch onto different products every now and then. But ever since I gave this a shot, I was just walking down the store in Thailand and I told myself like, oh, hmm, what is this? This seems interesting. It's cheap. I'm gonna tag the price in the screen or in the description box down below. And uh, ever since then, I liked it. Although, the protection factor is PA++. This is a kind of Asian um, grade when it comes to sun protection factor. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they grade it. I don't know the requirements that has to be met for them to. But I did a little bit of my research on my own. I think there's another YouTube video out there that explains the type of grading about the PA++. Like the more plus, the better. The more sun protection you get from the skin. Oh, from your skin. What I love about this is that it's so light. It's so light, it's just like you're putting a moisturizer on and there's nothing. And at the same time, it acts like a base and as a primer to your skin. I actually recommended this to my sister as well and she loved it too. Skincare and sun and finding the right product that works for you is really a journey. And it took me a lot of products, product testing, products that I, that I didn't like and products that I did like for me to actually end up with products that I love, that I, that I settle, that I feel confident, that I feel um, I am protected enough, if you know what I mean. And because I love this so much, I even hoarded, like I actually bought a ton of these. And I also bought this spray, 
this spray because of course um, most of the time when you're outside and you want to replenish the um, sunblock or sunscreen that you're wearing and you don't want to let's say if you're wearing a makeup or you're wearing um, something over it you don't want to like remove everything and put it on you just spray this all over your face like this yeah I over spray a lot now but <laughs> whatever so yeah you just carry this into your bag and just toss it down there and there you go you you can reapply I'm not sure how much protection you actually get from this one especially because I'm, I've seen some documentaries or no I've seen some um, Sorry about that. A little research about like as a sun protection factor and the types of protection that you get from different types of um, applicator. I don't know, like this and some other stuff. If you want a more consistent or a more thick from their line, you can always buy this um, Biore Perfect Milk. It kind of has the same consistent with consistency with the normal sun sunblock around the market. It's just that it's much more lighter and much leaves less white cast to your skin but um like the first application um like this i'll show you just like a small one as you can see there you go it doesn't in camera it doesn't show that it would leave you like a few white casts but it does fade over time compared to this one that i will try on the other surface of my skin There you go. Although, the thing about this is that, like I've said and mentioned in my previous video before, that this has this um, tangy, lemony fragrance. And it seems like, um, I couldn't read the label because it's in Japanese, but, um, so it seems like there is a, uh, probably an alcohol content about it, what makes it this fragrant and it smells good. But, um, Anyway, like from all the products that I've been using to my skin, I think it's almost impossible to find something that doesn't have a lot of, uh, that doesn't have at least a single amount of alcohol because most of the products out there in the market, they try to make their products smell good, but I can be wrong. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert on this, um, but yeah, so I think this is something that I can tolerate when it comes to the scent because it's not as strong and at the same time, it absorbs to your skin really fast. One thing that I really, really love about this. And uh, compare to these, oh, I use this all over my body though, because um, as you can see, like <laughs> it's so worn off because I've had this for I don't know, like seven months or eight months. And these from time to time, like I exchange from one of these. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm going to compare again like this one example for this. This really leaves a white cast to your skin. Let me rub it thoroughly. I don't know if it's visible, but ah, there. Compared to this area that I placed the product for, for this and this, it does leave a white cast. It is not so visible in the camera because of the light hitting on my skin and how it um, <clears throat> kind of blurs the contrast between the two products that I place on my skin but compared to this this product it really does like fade unlike here you see a more and you can feel how thick it is that it literally makes you feel that it's on your skin <clears throat> the only thing is this is not so hard to buy everywhere cuz oh, sorry it's not, it's not so easy to buy everywhere, but you can buy this online on Amazon or eBay <clears throat> and um, some other stuff out there. But if you're residing in the Philippines, you can check beautymanila.com, beautyamanel.com. I will link in the description box down below and you can buy this for like 480 something or 400 something something. I can't remember. Like this is around like 300, but I'm gonna put the price as well here in this screen section so um, yeah 
and since you know um uv rays is really i think a lot of dermatologists will recommend the number one thing that they will always tell you as part of your skincare regimen is always wear sunblock or sunscreen whatever because the number one cause of aging is the sun there's a lot of people uh i and i also how do i say this like i'm also one of those people where I enjoy the sun so but as much as possible I don't try to go to the peak hours where it literally burns your skin and um, I try to limit my sun exposure especially with my job that I'm always above 20,000 feet where the radiation is much more stronger and much more um, direct to your skin that's why um, being a flight attendant it's really a must to incorporate sun protection um, sunblock to your normal skincare regimen. You can also find this in a lot of SM stores and Watts, wa wa blah, 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 blah. Watsons, yes. You can find this product mostly in Asia. You'll find a lot of products like this in Asia when you go to Japan. Definitely, as you can see, with, um, when, uh, when you buy this product, most of the uh, products of this Biore Aqua Rich Essence has this best cosmetic awards of costing 2014. I don't know, probably because I wouldn't be surprised if they get an award because the product itself is really nice. Yeah, I hoarded a ton of these. I think I'm gonna show you a picture of how many um, stuff that I bought. I also have one more second favorite when it comes to this product is the Anessa. I think I'm gonna take a picture about it and do a review as well on that product. And um, <clears throat> Most of the time because it's so easy for me to go to Thailand, to go to the Philippines, to go to Japan or whenever um, it's more convenient for me to just order online and get it um, delivered to my place. Since I use this every day, like for example this bottle, this would last probably approximately for me when I just use this on the area of my skin like my face. Um, it will last me for about let's say two months. No, one month and a half. Yeah, let's say two months. because. To be honest, I'm not really counting because I have a ton of products like something that is more accessible on my desk or in my toiletry bag. Like I don't really get to um, measure how long does it last to me, but I would say this can last for about, let's say, a month and a half with daily and regular use. Yes. There is also another bigger bottle of this, of this. Um, version. I'm going to take a picture and just show it to you guys. So anyway guys, um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, there's probably a, a ton of um, videos out there explaining why um, wearing sunscreen is beneficial for you. And um, I, I, I'm sorry that I can't link every video down below but uh, yeah, you can just Google and um, do a little research on your own. So uh, if you like this video and if it's been informative to you and if you have any thoughts and comments and questions please don't hesitate to ask me on the comment section down below or you can directly just ask me on my Instagram which I will also be linking down below and I'll be also pasting it here somewhere here somewhere there <laughs> and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video so um, thanks for watching and goodbye see ya okay whatever Most a lot of YouTubers like new YouTubers like do I don't know whatever I'm just being silly. I'm actually very late now because I turned my phone on silent because it's been ringing. I have tons of messages coming in, and I really need to get ready. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Whatever. <laughs>